what's up guys welcome back to the vlog so today is jasmine today's thursday as y'all know i came back from new york yesterday oh my god my wig looks atrocious um i came back from new york yesterday um now it's back to real life i have exactly one month before my maternity leave ends and as y'all know i don't want to go back to work mm. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to drive on post because number one, I need to clean my car out. I don't know what the fuck been going on with my car since I've been gone, but it's dirty and I don't, it's like real dusty and stuff and I don't like that. So I'm going to get my car cleaned. Uh, it's 1130 at 130. We have to go to Johnson's reenlistment. You guys, he's reenlisting for six years and I think he got like a $40,000 bonus. He's a fueler, you guys. His MOS is a fueler. We, my MOS, we don't get that kind of luck. Um, we, don't, we just don't have that kind of luck. I think I got a bonus one time and it was probably like 5000 And once they taxed it, it was like 3000 So, um, I did hear you can get it back on taxes, but I just never did it, bitch. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go to Justice Reenlistment, get this damn car washed because this ain't it this car need to be washed cleaned on the inside vacuumed and then um i have a homeboy i don't think i remember washington from germany he was like my best friend and then he got promoted before me became my nco helped me get promoted to e5 like he just loved johnson so i mean not johnson washington so much so washington right now he's stationed at fort drum he did remember we we were both mechanics he did change his job to ret uh retention so now he helps soldiers with their careers and all that good stuff so basically let's just get into it before i drive off i am in my reenlistment window like i told y'all so i have ex less than one year until my ets which is your end of term service date so my date the date that my contract ends for me being in the army is less than a year out and that means that i'm in my window meaning I can pick my next duty station. I can change my job. There's so many things that I can do in this window. So I got my homeboy, Washington. He's He does the job, whatever. Um, and he is trying to help me see what jobs are available to me. I want something medical. I really want like radiology or something. I want something where I'm never going to see the motor pool again. Never going to have to step foot into the motor pool. Um, I mean, of course, if I have to, I will, duh. But like, I am just trying to get away from this slave, super hard work. Mm, I'm trying to get away from that labor part of the army. Basically, Washington should be calling me anytime, any second now to tell me, um, just so he can look and help me um, see what jobs are available. So yeah, we're gonna wait for his call. I'm really happy to be in my car right now, New York City, man. How do, yo, I'm so happy I joined the army because, girl, who was still about to be living in New York with no car, like what? And then it's like, I thought about like, yo, what if I go back to New York, do corrections or whatever? Girl, I ain't going back to New York. Y'all drive like maniacs in here. So I got my ID. My lips are mad dry. I'm going to use my topicals. Everybody on the internet was raving. I'm so close, you guys. I'm sorry. This is my new lens. Everyone on the internet was raving about this lip balm. This lip balm is $13, y'all. Instead of getting a little cheap little, little, little Vaseline tub from Dollar General, I went and tried spent the 13 dollars for the topicals it's called the topical six slave self slave i don't fucking know um do i think it's worth 13 dollars no but would i return it no i don't know if that makes sense but yeah it's like a minty it's like it's like mixed with how do i explain you guys remember the beauty supply and how we used to have the dollar super shiny lip glosses it's like that mixed with like mint so I don't know if y'all don't think $13 is expensive for a lip balm then I recommend it but if you do think $13 is, is a lot for lip gloss don't get it Anywho, y'all let's go I need to hear some what big Nash can do Y'all know I came back from New York yesterday. I came home to so many packages that I'm not going to show you guys because there's just so much stuff. Um, I think I showed you guys in the last vlog that I got a PR package from Baby Dove. Period, y'all. I feel like we're making it a little bit. We might be making it. We might end up one of the, being one of the it girls. We don't know. So I got a package from Wish Biz. You guys know Wish Biz. I always talk about them in my vlogs. I love them so much. They sell so many dupes to 
whatever it is big high-end luxury brand that you want they let me pick out two items and i'm coming to show you guys them real quick i picked out some dior shades and some prada sneakers yo let me tell you something growing up prada sneakers was how you knew somebody was fly like everybody had the pan leather prada sneakers and at the time i could not afford them i couldn't afford real ones i couldn't afford fake ones but i always remembered this style of sneaker because all the fly girls had it they had on prada uh, patent leather pradas with a, some uh true religion jeans like you know i didn't have that i had shacks bitch i had the shacks the shacks that look like air force ones so i got me my first pair of prada sneakers they are actually coming back in style so i was like yay my opportunity to get my pair so i first picked out some dior shades they just come in a black box y'all i don't know if y'all know but i have a basketball game that i'm going to the beginning of next month so i will be um i was trying to wear like a dior fit so that's why i got these sunglasses they come with just a simple black dust bag that just says dior also comes with a cloth to clean your glasses and these are the glasses that i got they are just a blue and yellowish ombre pair of glasses let's see if it's focusing yeah I think they're supposed to say Dior, but they say Dior. <sighs> I gotta write the company. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay. I mean, I don't really care, but yeah, what y'all think? Super cute, right? With my bob. I got a, a blonde version of this bob coming in the mail. These are real cute. I'm mad they say Dior though. What? I gotta take a picture of this and send it to the company. That's my sunglasses. And then I also got me... Like I told y'all, a pair of Prada sneakers. So, I don't know if I told y'all, but I actually did go ahead and invest in a denim tear hoodie. If you don't know what denim tears is, then you just don't want to know. But it, I bought me a hoodie from the website. I could have got me a fake hoodie, but I was like, you know what, let me just get a real one. So, I got these Pradas to go with them. They are gray patent leather Pradas, y'all. Oh! They come with a silver dust bag. I've never seen a dust bag like this. This is so cute. Whoops. So fucking cute. Look at them, y'all. Just silver. And then it just says Prada. This is real cute. I'm actually going to keep this. And then the sneaker comes wrapped like this. These are my new sneakers. Sorry, baby. But yeah, so these are my... Ooh, I'm lit. These are my new Prada sneakers. Ain't they the cutest? Like, you guys have definitely probably seen them around. They are just gray. They're just gray and shiny patent leather. And they also have white. The tongue says Prada. And then on the inside it says Prada. And then the bottom has like a red stripe that says Prada as well. And y'all see the bag really cute i got this in a us 40 because y'all know this is my size these definitely remind me of like high school <laughs> what do y'all think so cute they feel so good and they look so good Yeah, I just got some, um, I just had some cocoa melon on for him. But hi. Hi, Kyrie. Hi, my babies. Yes. Let's lay down. We just laying down together, y'all. 
Y'all, so I have an appointment, uh, eyelash appointment, at 11. If y'all can see, my shit need to be... This is my official last eyelash appointment until my maternity leave ends, y'all. So there will be no more super long, outrageous eyelashes anymore. Don't worry, guys. Um, so I'm going to go back to my little strips. This is my last month. Also, my last month with my nails. I'm getting my nails done again Saturday, so... I'll take y'all with me. Why are you looking at me? Mm, you love me. You love me. Mm, you love me. Mm. But yeah. Mm -mm, you got poop. You poop poop. You poop poop. Kissy. Give mommy kissy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ow. You guys, he's talking and stuff now. Like... We're not talking about like making baby noises. Before you didn't make no noises. Now you're screaming all day. Why you be screaming? Do you want to go for a walk? We can go for a walk when I come back for my eyelash appointment. Oh, you fart. Oh, I smell it. Oh, shh. All right. Do you want to go for a walk or. Do you want me to open up your playpen? Because you're gonna get a room this weekend. I'm gonna fix your room up this weekend. Don't you don't touch you. I'm gonna fix up your room this weekend. You're gonna have your own room so you can get out of mama's bed. You should be a side there. You're gonna have your crib. With crib mattress, crib sheets. And now your your changing table, your dresser, your clothes gonna be organized. Yeah, he pooping, child. Anywho, what time is it? Oh shit, I'm gonna try to see this person number. Alright, it is 9.39. And I think I gotta be out of here by 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. Because Boomer knows he's on show. So, um, yeah. Alright y'all, so I just got to my lash appointment. Like I told you guys, my lashes need to be filled really, really bad. And this is my last time getting my eyelashes done. Um because I go back to work soon and I don't even know <sighs> child I'm actually not too upset this is my last time getting my lashes in because girl that shit is not cheap so I'm really happy that this is my last time it was fun while it lasted I have a month left on maternity leave I need to spend that time um trying to shed this weight and I also need to start trying on new uniform sizes because clearly I am not the same size or the same person that I was before. But yeah, so that's what I gotta do. That's gonna be a separate vlog. I'm gonna bring y'all with me when I go try the new uniforms. And then I'm getting my little nails done. This is the last time that I'm gonna get, you know, all this like blingy bling shit. So there's that. In my last vlog, if you guys seen, there was like a black border. Like you could see my lens, the sides of my lens in my last vlog. I fixed it. Um well i just know how to fix it last night so if you guys see it up until right now i'm so sorry i really when i seen that shit when i was editing i did not want to upload it but i was like i don't care because they want the content so whatever so y'all we close to 100k i might cry well i'm not i might what bitch i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry i want the balloons i want the little 100k cake like i'm gonna do that shit for myself if nobody do it for me i'm doing it for myself because I'm so proud of myself for even getting this close. Because, yeah, like I told you, a lot of people want a million. They want 200K, 300K. My goal for the past eight years. That's that's, that's a shame. I, I feel like I should have been here 100K, but I mean, it's whatever. But that's my goal for like the past couple years has been 100K. And that's 100K is, I'm going to be so like, what's the, what's the, content. I'm going to be so content with 100K because that was my goal. I just want my little plaque. Oh my God. I can't even see it happening so yeah updates as far as career wise because today apparently we're talking all about the army and shit so what time is it because my okay it's 10 56 my appointment's at 11 so there is a new warrant officer branch it's kind of they're they're like advertising this new branch as marketing marketing and recruiting and i think i'm gonna apply now i'm scared because if I apply and I don't get chosen, I'm really, it's really gonna, like, I might, I'm gonna cry. Like, the same thing that happened with Recruiter. I don't want to get my hopes up and then I don't get it. But I remember, um, you guys see my mentor a couple vlogs ago. She's a warrant officer and she said she would help me. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna get her help because 
I don't even know how big the packet is. Like, I gotta do my research for all that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in yet. If I do put it in, I'm gonna tell y'all. But look, all we're gonna do is pray, child. Because I'm really at a point where I don't know what I wanna do with my career, let alone my life. So, but then she also told me the, the warrant officer for maintenance, which is y'all know, like my field is maintenance. The warrant officers for maintenance, they she said they got an $80,000 bonus. Hey Siri, what's 25% off 80,000? 25% times 80,000 is 20,000. They gonna take 20 bands out of that? That ain't enough? The fuck, these soldiers is re-enlisting for the goddamn six years getting 40,000? Well, that is enough. Jasmine, don't be ungrateful because you know you're going to do the time anyway. I don't know, you guys. But I'm going to do more research as far as the bonuses and stuff go because I don't know. Like, I feel like that money, you are going to need it because maintenance, girl, I'm going to be stressed the fuck. I'm going to be stressed out. But we're, we're going to see, y'all. We're going to see. We're going to see. I would prefer to do the marketing one over the maintenance one because the maintenance will get me... They're going to tax the 80000 anyway, but the maintenance will give me, like, some money, but I'm not going to be happy. Money does not... That shit not going to cure my, my sadness, okay? So maybe I should just do the marketing one because I probably would be more happy. I don't fucking know. I don't know, child. I can't be in no multiple, child. I can't be in no multiple. I can't be in no fucking multiple. I can't be in no multiple. I cannot be in no fucking multiple, but... It's 10.58. I'm going to go ahead and walk inside because... She ain't told me nothing yet, but I will come back when my lashes are done. This is the before. And I'm getting bottoms too. Like, stop playing with me. Only bad part is when I come out, my fucking eyes going to be burning. Oh my God, my eyes be burning because of the bottom lashes. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> y'all, I'm going to show y'all my lashes real quick. I got them done. The lighting in here is so horrendous, but yeah. So now I'm at um, where the fuck I'm at? Dick Sporting Good. I'm about to go in here and see if I find any Stanley Cups because I got three people to buy birthday gifts for, and they getting Stanley Cups. So let's go see, girl. All right, y'all. We are here, Dick Sporting Good, and this is what I'm wearing. Just a cash fit. Let's see, see what the fuck they got going on. I'm looking for a purple one specifically because um, it's for Diara and one of her favorite colors is purple. So let's see. Oh, they got some right here, y'all. As soon as I walked in. But these are not cute. Let me check the back. Oh, they got some different kind of colors. This is so ugly. Like, people actually buy this shit? Like, this is not bad. All right, let's go see if they have another, like, a whole section for it. All right, y'all. I found them. There's a whole wall of Stanley's. I might see one that I want. I already got three. I don't even be using them shits. Okay, y'all, I don't see any purple. There's white. I do want a color for like my OCPs. Do y'all think this color will go good with my OCPs? No. Wow, they don't have none of the colors they said they had in stock. Um. Oh. Cause look what y'all, y'all be going crazy over them Stanleys. Look what they did. All Stanley quencher tumblers will be limited to four tumblers per customer. Cause y'all be going crazy over these fucking cups. I think I'm gonna get it. Shit. Let me get a white. This will be for Drea. I'm gonna get a blue. No. Let me get a white and two grays. any of these colors all the pack is secured 
Yes, sir. Got the cups. I know what you guys are thinking. I'm just going to go look. I promise. <laughs> you guys, isn't this isn't this so cute for Kyrie? This is 12 months, but isn't this so cute? I don't know if I should get it or not. What y'all think? Oh my god, I just love buying stuff for him. I gotta get out this section. Mm -mm. Alright guys, um, it's the next day, child. It's 6 o'clock, it's Saturday, and we're about to go bowling as a family. And Kyrie's in the bag, and I also have that bag that I was showing showing y'all. Remember I told y'all it's Diera's, well her birthday was March 1st, but shit. Um, I'm about to drop her off her gift because she live on post, and I still gotta give the twins a gift, but they don't live on post, so... I think I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm gonna give them theirs, but yeah. So that camera, that camera I told y'all, hey, I just gotta get a new lens, y'all. I seen that thing that y'all were talking about. I have to get a new lens, so let's go bowling. Good morning, Kyrie. Say good morning to the people. Mm, oh, you're wilding. Y'all want to show y'all my baby fit today. He got on his little Nike hat that matches his little shoes. Don't kick me, don't kick me. Give me your feet. That matches his little shoes. And then he got on a gray little... Onesie. Good morning. This is OOTD, y'all. I try to do one in every vlog, but that's his OOTD. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Oh, y'all probably wondering where he's in. Girl, he's in his crib. So we started to put it, everything together yesterday. I didn't vlog. Don't kill me. I didn't vlog, y'all. It was just. Hold on. It was just too much going on, girl. So, good morning. I got my little fiber drink. Y'all know I hate this, but I gotta drink it. And I also just got a bagel and cream cheese because we out of eggs. Like, I don't know what it is. For it to just be two of us, we eat bacon and eggs a lot. Like, we go through it a lot, but we ain't got no more eggs. So, I did a bagel and cream cheese. And we're in the screaming phase right now, clearly. And then I got my iron pills that I need to take. Today is really just going to be a lot of cleaning. I have to organize all his stuff. I went ahead and bought some drawer. Hey, mommy's talking. I went ahead and bought some drawer organizers for his drawers. So I can organize all his onesies and stuff. And like I said... He's currently wearing three to six months, and he's currently a size three diaper, which is crazy. So all my Kyrie, I'm talking. So all my um, all the old clothes that he had in diaper boxes that are already opened, like the ones, the twos and the newborns, which really just one. It's not even a lot, but it's it's some diapers that that are 
already open. We decided we're just gonna, you know, give it away. So I wrote on Instagram. So I wrote on Instagram and asked if anyone needed baby clothes. And the first girl I replied is the girl that's gonna get it. So she's she's stationed here, I think, or her husband is. One I don't remember the details, but she, yeah, her husband her husband's gonna come get it. So yeah, cause we ain't got space to be hoarding baby clothes. was an epic fail <laughs> look at this light y'all it's so cute okay okay It's been a long couple days. I didn't vlog the nursery because girl, it was just so much going on. My house is a mess now. My glam room's a mess. It's like, you know when you go to Sam's Club, um, if you're from New York, y'all don't have a Sam's Club, you have like a Costco or a BJ's. You know when you go there and you have a lot of boxes? Basically, my titties look mellow. Basically, <laughs> basically, um, we got mad boxes from Sam's Club. Then I got packaged it. Like, it's just insane. Um, I know my garbage man, the man that takes out the garbage. I mean, the man that the garbage man that picks up the garbage. I know he probably like, what the fuck is going on in that house? Because when I tell y'all, if you on my block, my garbage compared to everyone else's is like triple, quadruple more garbage. Like I have so many boxes, and I still got boxes in here that I didn't even put out. But anywho's, I heard P Diddy house got raided, and I was just watching a YouTube video to know why. Cause I'm not really in the loop. I had ended up following the shade room because. I don't know it just be so much negativity and then um be honest with y'all i feel like instagram is like a popularity contest but like the only people that are uh, how do i explain this i really feel like ig is a popularity contest full of mean girls and everyone just acts like they're rich so i haven't really been on ig too heavy i did make Kyrie an instagram don't ask me why i don't even know why i did it i really just did it for memories for him you know in case anything happens so I'll leave his Instagram on the screen and I'll actually just show it to y'all real quick. He already has 166 followers and I just made it this morning. So shout out to Kai. This is his IG. His IG is Kyrie Maceo. Real cute. So y'all go follow him if y'all want to though. Um, I'm going to be posting more on his page as it relates to him than I will be on my page because I really just want to take a little break from Instagram. So I got a lot of videos I want to film this week. I want to film how to make money online for you guys. I want to film buying a house with the VA loan. I want to film my advice for new moms, things you need and don't need. Like, I got mad shit to film. But I really think that I am overworking myself. And I'm finally feeling it. And it's, it's not a good feeling. My hips hurt so bad, bro. And we still not done with his dresser. Like, we're on the last step. We got to put the backboard to the dresser. Like, I'm not explaining. Y'all know what I mean. Um, It's like literally like 10 nails. And we just don't want to do We're lazy. We're tired. Um, so whenever I do that, I will organize all his clothes. I got to order some organizers from Amazon. And then you guys will see that when I do it. And I be a real, I don't fucking know what I'm doing, but that is basically what I got going on, which is nothing. I don't have shit going on. Um, Mace's grandmother passed away. So if you guys, you know, don't mind, I would love if y'all could like DM him on Instagram and you know, like send y'all condolences. Um, yeah, it's a lot going on. So Mace is going to end up going to New York and that's good because I got some packages in New York that still never came that I ordered weeks ago, but I'm, you know what though? That's fine. You know why? Because when I get my shit, I'm going to do Instagram reel on the company and I'm going to let y'all know, dude, you know, like I'm not going to do the, the, the reel and be kissing their ass. Like, nah, that shit took me that long. But I mean, it was coming from Australia, so I get it. But still, yeah. Anywho, I'm going to finish editing because I don't know what's going on with my computer. This lens, like life is just life right now for me. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog and i will see you guys tomorrow i keep saying tomorrow i will see you guys in the next vlog i just want to let y'all know that i love y'all so much and appreciate you guys so much and 
while I was doing his nursery, I that's when everything hit me that like you guys really blessed Kyrie with so much stuff like diapers, wipes. He's already on size three diapers. Um, but it, I realized like I got like four extra boxes of twos, extra boxes of ones, and I'm like, wow, they really showered my baby with like so much stuff. So I don't know. I just I keep saying thank you, but I'm just gonna say it every time that I really appreciate y'all so much for like finding it in y'all heart to wanna send my little baby a gift and it's just beautiful. I just love it so much and this nursery is coming together and I put up the baby monitor. I'll tell I'll show y'all and tell y'all in the next vlog. I'm I'm rambling. So I love you guys and I'll see y'all in a couple days.